So we're finally in part three, which is the final part of the three part tutorial series of making this marble machine in Blender 4.0. If you haven't already seen the previous two parts, go ahead and check them out on my channel. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed us. And as always, I will be uploading the final blend file to my Patreon. All of that is in the description below. So uh, yeah, let's jump in to the final part, part three. So now we're just gonna set up some basic lighting and we're gonna set up a render engine as well. And then we'll do a few simple materials. So let's start by going up to our render properties. We're gonna change it from EV to cycles. And then if you have a GPU, I recommend you use it. If not, you can just stick to CPU. And under our render options, you want to go to max samples and um, change it to something. I'm going to go with 60, um, but you can go higher if you want. Um, but yeah, 60 should be fine, especially with the denoising enabled. We're then going to go shift A. We're going to go to our light options, add in an area light. G, Z, move it up. And let's get our light settings and give it a strength of 250. Give it a size of two meters. And let's go control B and just drag over our camera. That's going to limit the rendering to the camera. And I'm going to go Z and go rendered. And now you can simply move your light and rotate it until you get something that uh, looks aesthetically pleasing to you. But for me, I always like to at least have three lights kind of pointing towards the, the subject matter. In this case, it's the slide and uh, something like that. And the one coming from this direction, I'll probably make it 120. So we don't get as much glare on the slide. So if you now go Z and we go rendered, I think that looks pretty good. Additionally, you can go to your world properties. You can go to the color here and give yourself a sky texture. Um, so you guys can go ahead and do that if you want. I'm just going to go with an environment texture. And I have a few already on my computer, but there's a lot of free resources out there on the internet where you can get your own HDRIs. But like I said, um, there's always the option here of going with a sky texture if you want. But now if you go Z and you go rendered, you have some nice environmental lighting. I'm just gonna take my strength down to 0.3. And now we can add some materials. Now, the number one material um, I wanna show you guys here is gonna be really simple to find. If you go to the internet, you can just go to polyhaven.com. So you simply just go to your search browser, type in polyhaven, and then you can just type in plywood. So polyhaven plywood, and then it should come up with the result. You just click on it. You simply go here and the default options here for 2K and Blender, just leave them as they are and just go ahead and download. So for me, that's resulted in having this zip file in my downloads. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that zip file and I'm gonna extract it like you do with any other zip file. And now I know that this blend file is in my downloads. So now if we go back to our blend file, we can go file, we can go append, and I'm gonna to go to my downloads and I'm gonna to go to plywood, click on the blend file and then just go to the material, click on plywood and go append. And now let's select this slab down here. Let's go and go to our drop down, give it a plywood material. Then let's grab our slide and let's go give that the plywood material as well. We're gonna click on this little two and that's gonna make it its own material and let's go plywood underscore dark and let's also go to our UV editing and let's get our top view make sure everything is selected in edit mode with um, this guy over here to slide then we're just going to go U and go project from view and over here we're just going to go R to rotate it 90 degrees and then press S just to scale it up once you've rotated it and now let's go to our shading workspace and with this plywood dark, we're just gonna go shift A search and get a color ramp. Place it on the top output here from the image texture that's going into the base color. And then let's grab this slider here, drag it up a little bit. And we're gonna make that a kind of brown um, material or brown color with a lower value. And we're gonna grab this top slider, bring it in a bit. And we're gonna make it kind of like a woody kind of color and bring down the value. And now if you go Z and you go rendered, you can see this is the result. So feel free to mess around with it a bit, but that's kind of looking good and I'm happy with that. So now what we can do is we can select our floor. We can give that a new material. Let's go ahead and make that kind of like a greenish color and make the value really dark. And let's come here to the specular and just decrease the IOR level. 
And now if we go Z and go rendered, we can see this is the background we have. I might just make that even a little bit darker on the value, something like that. Maybe just a little less saturated. And now we're gonna grab the marbles, one of them, and let's go create a new material and call it glass. Let's go ahead and make it a blue material. And under the transmission, let's take the value or the weight here of the value all the way up to one. And then let's select the rest of these marbles. And then holding and shift, select the one we added the material to and go control L and just link that material. And then we're gonna select one of these shovels here and go new and let's call it gold. And let's make it metallic. Let's go to the roughness and bring it down a bit. And under the base color, we're gonna make it kind of yellowish like so. And now let's select all of the other objects like this pusher, the rest of these shovels over here and these kind of prongs that push the spheres up. Just holding in shift, selecting all of them. And then select the shovel that you added that material to while you're still holding in um, um, shift. Then go control L and just link those materials. And now if we go into our camera view and we go Z and go rendered, this is the result that we have. So now you can grab your lighting and you can always adjust it at this point and do whatever you want until you like the result. Um, you can take the materials and you can uh, mess around with them a little bit, change the values, try and mess around with the reflectivity. Same with the glass. I might bring the roughness down on that a bit. But more or less, those are the kind of materials we're going for. So let's go back to our layout. Uh, let's go to our render properties. Let's go down to motion blur and enable that. And let's drag for our animation to get a shot that looks nice. Something like this. And let's just quickly go render and do a quick render image here. And there we have it. That's looking pretty good. Now, obviously, you could add in as many nice things as you want. For example, um, in my original, I added in some plants. And if you actually go to Polyhaven, you can go over to their um, models under the assets. And you should be able to go down and they have all sorts of cool assets here, like plants and things like that. You can download these models just like we did with the plywood material, and then you can append the 3D models into Blender. So I already have one that I like. So um, it's not one that I got from Polyhaven, but it's just one that I have in my own personal collection. So I'm just gonna go file, append, and I'm just gonna go and get that on my computer. And I'm gonna append it into Blender, like so. And I think that just adds kind of like a really nice touch, just adding in a plant or two. But you guys kind of get the idea. Just a little visual element like that goes a long way into making this look really nice. Um, and that is how I made this. So yeah, that has been the tutorial. I'll quickly show you guys my original. This is my original here, which I'll be uploading to Patreon. I just did a little bit more work on the materials and the lighting, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you next time for some more tutorials. Check out the links in the description and thank you for watching.